As most of you probably know, you can earn Steam trading cards just by playing games on Steam. These cards can then be crafted into badges to level up your Steam profile or sold on the market for a bit of extra cash. Now, if you're anything like me and spend way too much time on sites like Humble Bundle or Fanatical, chances are you've built up a massive library of games, many of which you'll realistically never get around to playing. But that doesn't mean they have to go to waste. Normally, you'd have to install each game and run it for two to four hours just to get the cards, which isn't exactly practical when you're sitting on hundreds of titles. Luckily, there's a much easier solution, a GitHub project called Idle Master Extended. Here's how it works. Idle Master Extended logs into your Steam account and simulates you playing a game to earn trading cards. It scans your library, finds the games that still have card drops available, and then starts them one by one. From Steam's perspective, it looks like the game is running, but you don't actually need to have it installed or open. Once a game has dropped all of its available cards, Idle Master automatically moves on to the next one. This continues until every eligible game in your library has given up its cards. Before you start using Idle Master, there are a couple of best practices to keep in mind. First, set your Steam status to invisible or offline before farming. Otherwise, your friends will see constant notifications about you starting dozens of games every second, and that gets old fast. Second, avoid running any games while Idle Master is active, especially titles that use Valve Anti-Cheat, like Dota 2 or Counter-Strike. Using the app won't get you VAC banned since you're not actually cheating, but those games can throw error messages if you try. I don't know anyone who's ever been banned because of Idle Master, but it's always better to be safe than sorry. Now that we've got the basics out of the way, let's move on to installing the app. Go to the GitHub page for Idle Master and download the latest version of Idle Master Extended. Once it's downloaded, just extract the contents and run the application. When the app opens, click Sign In. This part might look a little technical at first, but it's really not that bad once you've done it a couple of times. What you need are two values from your Steam account, your session ID and your Steam login secure. To get them, open up Steam in your browser. I'm using Chrome here, but it also works fine in Edge. Log into your account, then press F12 to bring up the developer tools. From there, go into the application tab, look under cookies and click the Steam entry. That's going to give you a list of values, and in that list you'll see session ID and Steam login secure. Copy those two, paste them into Idle Master, and then just hit login. And that's pretty much it, you're set up. Before you let it run though, I recommend checking the settings under File and then Settings. One option you'll definitely want to enable is Fast Mode. What that does is let Idle Master pretend to idle a bunch of games at once, and then it cycles through them one by one until every last card has dropped. After that, you can just leave the app running in the background, and eventually it'll farm every card you've got left in your library. And that's really all there is to it. Idle Master Extended is a simple little tool, but if you've got a big Steam library full of unplayed games, it can save you a ton of time while turning those unused titles into trading cards, badges, or even a bit of Steam wallet cash. I hope this tutorial helped you get set up and running. If it did, feel free to drop a like or leave a comment letting me know how many cards you managed to farm from your own backlog. And if you're interested in more Steam tips, game reviews, or deep dives into the world of PC gaming, make sure to stick around for future videos. Thanks for watching and happy idling!